Okay, so it's good. I'll call this meeting to order. We welcome our cameraman. Let's stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Are there any additions to the agenda? Um, we have more minutes we need to approve, but I don't know if you want to put that on now or wait till another meeting. The budget. Yeah, right. That was, that was another question. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was approved at this meeting or if it was be approved at the budget meeting. Um, it would be approved at this meeting. Oh, okay. So, um, do you want me to put them on for the next one because it's not on the agenda? Yeah, 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 I mean, I know a lot of times that's how we yeah. go on with it to wait. Okay. It's not the official agenda. Anything else? All I have for a public for a remark is that at VLCT, I learned that of the 6,000 individuals that are covered by their insurance, over the 18 months, only 20 tested positive for COVID-19. So what the municipalities were doing was great. Mm -hmm. Okay, minute approval. Okay. Just a couple of things. Usually we list member absent and have death. Oh, okay. Um, that's kind of how they've appeared in the past. Okay. Um, on page two, when we're talking about the quote, kind of two thirds of the way down there, from budget, which is moving storage. And I thought maybe we should add in to move the BY model out of the lobby. Because it just says there was a quote and maybe you can define what it was yeah. for. And page three under the nuclear storage question. <clears throat> the question that's quoted that was asked of Maddie, it says the given the recent statement, so I think maybe Bell wasn't really supposed to be in there. Mm -hmm. It's about the middle Sorry. of that first no, paragraph of the nuclear storage question. What line was that? I'm sorry. It's like about midway in that new business, uh, yeah. the first paragraph. Yeah. Uh, Martin joined the meeting. Oh, thank you. Hi, Martin. Hello. That's all I saw. Okay. I didn't even get the minutes. Okay. So. Do you want to hold action on them? Or? I trust you guys. Okay. Here. Well, we can't. There's three of us. Yeah, but if no. okay. you have to, why don't we hold off so he has time yeah, to I need to get them? So. Okay. They're not in my packet. They're not yeah. in the packet, but they were oh, sent out yesterday. Monday. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Monday. Yeah. She didn't know okay, so we'll yeah. table that till next meeting. Then. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, treasurer's report warrants. Okay. All right. See, I move that we approve payment of the following warrant: seven T accounts payable, one million eight hundred seventy nine. Thousand three hundred sixty-five dollars and twenty-nine cents, and this includes um, about a million eight hundred thousand dollars of school payments. So that's why that's a bit large this time. Thirty-eight S payroll eight thousand eight hundred dollars and twenty-one cents, and thirty-nine S payroll nine thousand six hundred fifty-four dollars and ninety-six cents. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing in. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Michael? Aye. Jean? Aye. And I'm in the room. Town admin report? 
Um, the waiver of liability that the uh, town attorney looked at is fine, so he had um, printed that off for the fire chief to use so that he can call us with that donation. Wonderful. Um, cyber keys. We have one spare cyber key at this time. Um, would it be okay to order a couple more? And what would you recommend? I'm not sure how quickly we go through them, but I do know that they are wearing out, and I had to program a new one for the treasurer because hers was so long and was not functioning. Do we know if there's any kind of warranty on them? Mm, that's a good question. I'll have to ask him. Because if they have a wear a lot of time and they're wearing early. Yeah, and I wonder if that part is interchangeable where they do come apart and see if maybe we can order yeah. parts or something. Yeah, we're not like, sure how long we can add them. I don't know, two or three years into yeah, this. Not so. that far. <laughs> It, it's worth asking the question, but <laughs> electronics. Oh. Yeah, I was looking at it and I was surprised to see how much it had actually worn. And I don't wow. think she's had that, that key for very long. This is her third key she's on now. Ooh. I yeah. don't either my second or third. I can't even remember now. Mm -hmm. I could probably get about five. What do you think? If they, if they can't change them out. Yeah, because we've had issues with the vault not working because of keys being, right. you know, not working. And so that's another whole area that gets kind of followed up and yes. you need to kind of keep that running too. So what do you think for a number? Yeah, I mean, let's just maybe, maybe five right now and okay. see what that takes. Unless there's a break for six. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 exactly. And it's $121 at this point in time. The one hundred twenty one twenty one each. So that's well, same. I'm yeah. not really sure how many you've ordered. Yeah. Did you ever find the agreement? I never found the agreement, but I did draw up another one. And I did find out where the spare key went. And it is now back in the vault. Because I think when, when you take one of those keys and sign the agreement, it stuck in my mind that they said you would owe three hundred dollars if you lost it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So yeah, that's I'm good then. So. And that's a nice, that's nice that it's less than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is because I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. it's, to be more. it's a consensus. Okay. I was going to say a consensus if we had some accountability because I've never signed a piece of paper for my key. I know. And, you know, that, that was. I don't want to order more if we have no accountability of the current ones. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, the initial distribution there was yeah we all have to um say. I'm saying somebody can account that we still have all of them mm. oh. yeah um well because of the programming right you would know who has keys yes, they're all coded i did yeah. um, create a form and it, it puts the serial number for each key you know on it and that you are liable you know for that cost to replace it good um, I, I never received one so that's why i wasn't sure yeah i couldn't find the form mm -hmm. so i created one today but just kept something in place and i think you fell in the cracks of not really having a permanent yeah. town administrator <laughs> you know we had different people and yeah because it came to my attention um when we had somebody turn in a key that there wasn't anything in place and i wanted to make sure that went into the personnel file so we always had a record that it was in fact returning the liabilities off the employee did tim have a uh, did you check with tim Okay. He actually it. asked me if I had seen the yeah. form that I, I combed through mm. everything I could find on that hard drive. Wow. So Cindy didn't have the form? Like, no. We, yeah, Cindy. We had this, like, I can remember in the library, I had to have everybody sign that took a key. Yeah, I don't and know. And I don't that. know where they were. Who did you that? When she gave I like, a key to my office, I actually just filled out a little receipt, like a cash receipt, mm. to find it. And that's all that she had me sign. I couldn't find anything in any of the files. I have to look again. I, I have to try to remember to look in the files. I have to, to see somewhere. if there was, if I made copies of the agreements that we signed. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Um, let's see. The next item I have is um, that it's heating season and we've not turned on the heating system. Um, it probably needs to be serviced. I don't know if they finished last year. I know they fixed one of the boilers. Yeah. So it looks like the was they ever make it back? Done. I don't think they did. There was um, zone valve repair, 
um, overheating zone five and replacement of a zone valve. And who's that from? What date? Is this is from um, June of this year, May of this year, and April of this year. And that was Jeffers. Oh, that's what I was asking. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like some work has been done. More than once. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the work, some work has been done, but it, it doesn't look like it's been, you know, serviced, cleaned, or anything like that. So we should be lots of. And those, because, and that was because the heat was running at the same time as we were needing to run the air conditioning. And I'm just not familiar with it. I tried to look at the heat panel today. It's a very uh, high tech German system. Yes. That's why we call Jeffers, because Sandra was giving us a hard time. Jeffers is one of the only companies that works on it. Okay. Because I'd like them to walk me through the system in case yeah. anything, you know. We lose power and needs to be brought back up or something. I'd like to be familiar with it where we don't have somebody in place to oversee the building this time. I can tell you right now, as I recall, I finally turned the power off because yeah, the heat just kept coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. And uh, I said, okay, I'm just going to turn the power off. And so when they come, Definitely. That's gotta get <laughs> put back on to begin with. So yeah, I just um, want to get familiar with how everything is shut down and brought back up in the event. That there, I mean, there's quite a lot of instructions, and in, I don't know where the manual went for that because there's a lot of components in that basement. Yeah. Well, basement you know, just room. getting the computer done. Um, well, they they recommend get as soon as that computer computer fails, get a different brand, anyways. Yeah. Because they said even their ones that they have at their house, they did the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeffers, oh. the guy that came down to install. Yeah. So I'd to take a motion to have the furnace uh, system serviced. Serviced, yes. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, Smith will be saying aye. Oh, Michael? Aye. Jane? Aye. Sandy's night. Motion carries. So I would also recommend that um, you communicate to the treasurer who's going to do the servicing because Sandry has done our preventive maintenance mm -hmm. and sometimes it was left to her to handle. Yeah. So we I don't want to double do that. No, <laughs> duplicating services. And I've already had Kathy print me the um, Al Jefferson proof. The, the last repairs. Okay. So the, if you have any problems, let me know. I know them. Thank you. I appreciate it. I used to work in that town. <laughs> um, I got an email from the fire chief. Um, he had some volunteers lined up to um, paint the fire station. Uh, that fell through. He would like to put it out to bid. Um, I think he's looking at his budget and putting something in place. And so I wanted to come to the board and see what your thoughts were. Michael? Move that he puts it out to bid. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, sing for by saying that. Aye. 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 Okay, and then he also emailed me on having an energy audit done for the fire station as he's concerned that they've spent $8,000 a year in heating fuel. I could not find an energy audit for the fire station. I've only found one for 2017 for just the town hall. Okay, so that'd be about the right year. So it was just here. Yeah. I gave her some information on Efficiency Vermont. Mm. Yes. They, yes. they yes. like yes. to come in and do that. And there are grants, a lot of grants, mm. and there's lots of discounts for the municipalities. If they come in, they should do all the town buildings. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Good. Is that a motion? Do we need a motion? Do you need a motion? Well, we don't need one for him to put it out to bid, but the energy audit we need to do. We need an amount if we're... If right. We're, so, it, do you feel that what was done in 17 is too old now? Because this I, building was done. Yeah, this building was Technology's done. Technology's changed a lot between yeah. now and then. And yeah. they made it sound like it was really reasonable. Um, could you check in with them? And, Bring it back to us? Yep, absolutely. Thanks. Okay, and um, our .gov website is up and ready for use. 
So Wonderful. we have our IT gentlemen working on switching over the emails, and our website folks are coordinating with them to get everything online and redirected to the new domain name. Great. And we will have our new phone system installed um, Wednesday, October 20th. Awesome. As well. So, and that's all I have. Thank you. Um, Municipal planning grant. Martin? Martin, are you up? Hi. Are you up for yeah, the planning grant? Sorry. My my turn? Your turn, <laughs> sir. Okay. So um, I think uh, uh, Shelley was, was the uh, draft resolution passed around. I have it right here. Okay, so if everybody could have a copy of that. Um, the, uh, the Planning Commission and uh, Shelley and um, uh, Seth uh, have been talking about uh, applying for a uh, Vermont Municipal Planning Grant in this current cycle um, to do a recreational master plan. And um, the idea being that, you know, we've done some great work in recent years. For example, the trails in the town forest have, have really been greatly improved. And, uh, you know, golf, this golf uh, course was installed. But um, there, there are more opportunities uh, in town to, to do more things. And, but without a sort of a plan that looks at all of that, figures out what's possible, figures out some costs, sets some priorities, gathers input from people in the town and so forth, um, it's hard to get any uh, grant funding for projects. For example, this year we had to pass on a VOREC grant. VOREC is a state program, uh, Vermont Outdoor Recreation, something, something, uh, <clears throat> that uh, provides grants of $50,000 or more, 50,000 is, I believe is the minimum, uh, for recreational projects, but to, to qualify, you know, you really have to have a good plan uh, and you have to have shovel-ready projects. So, um, uh, you know, the, the Planning Commission and Seth and Shelley and I agree that this is something to, um, to pursue, the idea would be to ask for twenty thousand um, dollars from the state, and to match that with twenty five hundred from uh, from the town, which is in both the planning commission budget and the rec department budget. Both have um, an allowance in that amount, so so we've got the money, um, <clears throat> and uh, a key piece in the application is that we need to have obviously have good town support. Um, there actually uh, are two resolutions that the Planning Commission should, uh, or that the Select Board should pass. Um, this one being a, a resolution of, of support, um, but then there's another one which is a uh, more specific technical uh, resolution that um, authorizes I think the uh, uh, town administrator or whoever is designated to, 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 to act and, 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 and file the application and things like that. It, you've done those before for every municipal planning grant we've done. And I neglected to um, uh, get that one together. So you'll have to do that one probably at your next meeting. Um, but this one would be the resolution of support. We hope you do support it. Um, and uh, can can pass that and we'll make that part of the package. Okay, Michael? Yeah, I move that we sign it. Jean? I'm in the first. Okay. Do you need a motion? Please? Yeah, he just made a motion. Okay, sorry, right, second. <laughs> okay. That was a motion. Okay. It was. That's okay. why I said I moved to. I was going to ask know. if you had any questions, but yeah. no further discussion. All those in favor, Michael? Aye. Jean? Aye. Sandy's and I. Carries. Thank you, Martin.
Okay, thank you very much, and <clears throat> stay tuned for uh, uh, chapter two on, on that at your next uh, regular meeting, I believe. Super. Okay. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, pay as you throw. Uh, do you have anything on pay as you throw? Yes, and this is on the agenda. Right. I didn't have anything, and I couldn't find anything nope. in the file cabinet on it. Right. Well, I was looking for like figures. And well, people just asked us to put it on the agenda. Um, do you, so could you find out where we stand, um, what's, what we have left in, in supplies, the value of the supplies, and how much we're in the red? Status of our whole yeah. program. Okay, the status. Okay, and emergency management. So, um, emergency management. We need a third, a second person? Yes, we need a, a second designated member, a non voting member, um, to be appointed and report back. I think it's in November to the state. Um, and so I had emailed to Dave, and he said that he couldn't make a recommendation at this point. Okay. Um, so he would have something for us at the next meeting. Okay. Oh, next meeting. Very good. Um, our, we have a budget meeting tomorrow night, and then our next regular meeting will be October 19th, and budget meeting on October 20th. If we have short agendas like this, do you want to combine them or just meet for a short meeting? Mm, that's a trick question. That's a trick question. <laughs> I don't know. Like this it's definitely just done, short, yes. definitely. Combine them if you can. Mm. Well, why don't we mull it over and individually and then we'll bring it back and make it determination because we had Shelly here just the other day, you know, we might actually get home. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, what would you do? Put the put our regular meeting to the budget night or? Well, that would be up to the board what they wanted yeah. to do. I just wondered in terms of the yeah, departments that anticipate that. Please. Right. Would we have to move the budget meeting to our like no. Maurice, I thought we had to have them on certain days. No? Yeah, we can we can reschedule. As long as we let people know ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll think it over and we'll discuss it further. We yeah, have I mean everybody if we here consider it if it's developing yeah. into very small yeah. agendas or yeah, the budget day. meetings aren't that long either. No, they're doing so far they're going really well. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Shorter than I thought, just too. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, then I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So, so second. All those in favor? Michael? Aye. Jane? Aye. Sanders and I, we are adjourned. It is 6.52.